Hey everybody, Cody here with another installment of Let's Talk About Scents. Today we are going to be talking about a small perfume brand by the name of Tonoco Tonic. These four samples here from Tonoco Tonic were sent over to me by the creator, Devin. So first and foremost, Devin, thank you very much for um, sending these over to me uh, for my full and as you all know, always unbiased review. Um, Devin and the brand that he has created, Tonoco Tonic, is out of Mansfield, Missouri. Um, he has created all of these by himself in a very small lab of his own, no third party, all created from him with the highest possible quality ingredients that you can find. As we would hope whenever somebody is doing this themselves, usually they are always general on using the best and quality materials that they can find. I'd imagine when you start something like this, you are generally, so to speak, wanting to make quite possibly the best that you can and you don't have that third party trying to cut cost or anything or dilute your materials, add synth you know synthetic into it. So these are really great. So let's get into it a little bit. The ones that he has sent me over is cesium. Then we have palm pepper, vintage floral delight, and then last but not least, white sandalwood. We're gonna go through these in no particular order, and then at the end, I will just tell you um, the one that struck me the most and turned out to be my favorite here. We are going to start with white sandalwood. White sandalwood has notes of white flowers, rose, Bulgarian rose, vanilla, patchouli, amber, and sandalwood. Immediately off the bat for me, I am hit with those rose notes. All of that white floral is very heavy floral. Smell a small amount of that vanilla kind of lingering in the background there, just hanging out almost as a vanilla coated um, flower petal. A little bit of that patchouli coming through. Dry down on this one for me on skin. Now these on tester strips of course are different. Um, skin on this one, I noticed a lot of that vanilla, very little floral off the, off the initial spray there, off the opening. And then of course your dry down, you're gonna be hit with a very creamy, um, sandalwood, very soft, rich amber. Of course, that's gonna be the powerhouse inside of this one. Nothing too crazy with this one, nothing too wild. Um, not a lot of depth. Exactly what you get from the notes, what the notes say are exactly what you're hit with. Floral opening, drying down into that uh, creamy vanilla, sandalwood, amber. Um, it's just a very uh, pleasant, unisex fragrance um, would be a very complimented, just easy going, any type of day fragrance. So that one's, that one's really good in just its own sense of what it is. Um, now as we start getting into cesium here, we start getting into a lot more depth, a lot of layers on these fragrances, a lot more notes. So cesium, this one right here. Funny story about cesium, which I'm not sure if this was the reason behind the name, but cesium is an atom. It just so happens to be the atom that is used in the atomic clock. So this is how we tell time for all around the world. It is the most consistent atom. So not really sure on what we're going with on the name. Maybe just as consistency, maybe this fragrance just being consistently great because it is fantastic. 
This is my second favorite out of the four I was sent. I absolutely love it. Notes in this, sweet orange, white pepper, black pepper, amber, cedar. Oh, it's fantastic. You open huge with that sweetness. A lot of that pepper, very peppered sweetness, almost as if you peeled up in an orange and just decided to sprinkle pepper on it. Really great, almost reminds you of, I get very beach vibes. Um, not to downplay it by any means because there's a lot of depth and a lot of great quality in this fragrance, but almost very, um, very lotion, suntan lotion-esque kind of vibe. Really nice. I've always loved that smell. Yeah. Shoo. Got a lot of the pepper that time on the intake. Um, a lot of that orange, like I said, off the opening. Pepper. You're going to dry down. You have a lot of that really soft cedar that comes through. And then carried by some of that sweetness from the amber. Super good, once again, just a simple, complimented fragrance. You can smell the depth, the layers to it. It's really nice, really enjoy that one. Second favorite out of all of them. Up next, we got Vintage Floral. This is going to be my least favorite, sorry Devin, out of the bunch. I'm not huge on florals. Um, I sprayed it on my wife as it smelt lovely on her. Um, florals, I mean, it's just, it's just not for me. This one, this one gives me very strong flower shop funeral home vibes, and I'm very sorry. It has to be all of the the rose and I'm gonna say the orchid neroli notes in this one: bergamot, green tea, neroli, orchid rose, damask rose, mandarin, iris, vanilla, jasmine, cedar. Patchouli, sandalwood, frankincense, some spices, amber, and tonka bean. I get a little bit of that sandalwood and that patchouli in the background. It's just not enough to cover up all of that, all of that floral. Of course, it's called Vintage Floral Delight, so it is expected that it is going to be heavy floral. You get a lot of that rose, tons of rose in this. I believe there's ylang ylang in this one. Not much on the mandarin or the bergamot. There might be a slight tart citriness at the start, the opening. Um, dry down does bring a lot of that tonka bean and the spices in there. So you are going to pick up notes on that. It has like this, um, this spicy kind of um, caramel cocoa vibe going with it. But then that, that floral is going to be all of the power of this fragrance. It does dry down to be a lot softer and a lot nicer. You are just heavy on that floral for quite some time. So, sorry Devin, that one's just not for me. My nose is just not agreeing with florals. Um, they've not, It's not agreed with florals for a while now. Um, I'm very particular on floral fragrances. But, but it is a very beautiful, very deep, um, has tons of depth and layers to it, so it is enjoyable to ride that one out and see all the changes that it goes through, almost like a, a blooming flower. You're going to have all of these stages, different notes coming through, popping up, and on someone else's skin, it could be fantastic. So always try, guys. Sample, like I said, subjectiveness. I always talk about it in every one of my videos. You never know. It's going to smell so different to someone else. So always sample, always try. All right. Now we've hit my, uh, my favorite one here. We are on palm pepper. So let's get, oh, drop my tester strip here. Hit some of this palm pepper. Oh yeah, guys, that's great. Almost going back, and that, and that has to be the connection there. We're going back to that cesium. Cesium had that sweet orange, that white pepper, the black pepper in it, so you had this fruity pepperness. So palm pepper, of course, as you can figure, palm is the French word for apple, so 
We've got Japanese white pear in this one, gold pear, red apple, golden apple, green apple, um, let's see, black pepper, cayenne, milk, honey, coffee, sugar, golden amber, and cedar. You are hit a ton with these just very juicy pear and apple notes. Very strong. This one is exactly what it says. You are going to write out the layers on this one. Pear, apple, super strong. You get a lot of that pepper from that cayenne and just from that black pepper, that cayenne black pepper just mixing over top of all that juiciness from the apple. Absolutely love this one. Dries down. You have that creamy, um, that creamy milk facet with that um, with that very earthy coffee tone and a lot of that sweetness from the honey and the golden amber. There's even um, quite a bit of that soft, smooth, fresh cedar that just kind of pokes through in the background of this one. This is super great. I'm actually, um, let's see, we actually want to hit a little bit of this on skin and just rock this one around a little bit. Oh yeah, that pepper is super pungent off the start on your skin. I mean, right in to the nasal cavity there. Fantastic, absolutely love it. And since you all have rode with me all throughout this entire video, if you're wondering what the name Tonoko Tonic meant and Devin come up with, it means absolutely nothing. <laughs> so he uh, he mentioned in his bio that he just wanted something that was catchy and had a nice ring to it, and he did it because it kept you all listening this entire time. So Tonoko Tonic, fantastic, fantastic prices on these. Guys, check them out. Um, like I said, he makes them out of uh, Mansfield, Missouri, just in his small little lab, just handcrafting all these tons of depth, tons of layer. You're really going to enjoy these. You want to put your nose on them. Um, most definitely check them out. Sample. Um, I could most definitely see myself with a full bottle of the of the three minus the minus the vintage floral delight. They are all so unique, so enjoyable in their own sense. Um, just super great. So Thank you all again for joining me for another review. This has been Tonoko Tonic. Thank you again, Devin, for the pleasure of sending these samples. And guys, if you enjoyed what you've seen in this one, make sure to hit that like, subscribe, leave a comment if you'd like. I love receiving comments from all of my viewers and all of my fans. It is so great and so awesome to get to respond to all your comments. So please keep doing that and turn on that bell notification and be on the lookout for what we have next. We have Akin fragrances and we have five clone impression fragrances from him. So you're not gonna wanna miss that one. We have some great stuff from him. You guys have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time.